The thoughts and views expressed in this video are mine and mine only. In no way, shape or form are they intended to hurt, denigrate, defame sentiments of any person, community, institution or any class of persons, gender, section of society, caste or religion in any manner. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and into this new series or format of videos that I'm going to be doing on this channel called Chai Chat. Now, the whole premise of this video really is to not, obviously not give you any gun in my, so any, any knowledge in my part. It's basically to discuss topics that I find interesting and that you know come about in daily life and just generally having a chat with you guys giving you an update of what's going on in my life and yeah that's pretty much the premise of this new series that I'm launching on the channel I don't know how well it's gonna go but let's see let's see so the main thing is I'm gonna get there's two benefits that I get from this doing this a number one benefit is that obviously it's like a video record for like when I'm 50 years old or whatever I can look back to this videos and see like you know i didn't know anything i was complete dumbass so i could do that and number two is that uh, more content for youtube so you know the youtube algorithm thank you car uh the youtube algorithm is likes it and i get more views and i make more money and all of that and I become rich anyways so yeah no 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 yeah that's that's that and that's it really so that's pretty much the premise of Chai Chat. Apart from all that, I I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try and keep this uh, video these videos a bit more informal, so like a more casual and stuff. Like I don't know if you've seen my other videos that I did before before the vlogs and stuff. They used to be like proper professionally edited and everything, and you know all of that kind of stuff. But um, I'm gonna keep this a bit more casual, just a bit more like a chit chat kind of thing. So as of like you're sitting there like my friend or whatever. So yeah, anyway, so today's topic of discussion guys is, or oh, before I say all that, if you guys are interested in, in in this, in this type of series, please leave a like down below in this, in this, in of this video. If you go like subscribe and then above the bar, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel to see any more videos <laughs> that I put up in, in the future. So yeah, with that said, I've got my chai in here because it's freezing cold outside and I don't want my chai to go cold while I'm talking. So I've um, got my chai in here and I've got my topic. So today we're gonna to be discussing about anxiety of change. Now, I know it sounds really uh, like upmarket kind of stuff, but really I'm gonna try and like give my two cents on it and what I've been going through and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're interested, we'll be back in just a second. All right, so guys, basically, why anxiety of change as my first topic to talk about now basically if you guys know me from my youtube channel you guys know that i'm going to flight school in the near future now with that comes the whole process of relocation you know moving out of home and and all of that shenaz that comes with the whole going out to study and stuff and uh, and it and probably sounds like really trivial for most people and, and to be honest with a certain extent it is it's not too big of a deal really but i find that with the whole prospect of moving out of home is a bit is a bit scary like it's a bit it's a bit scary in my opinion it's not like i'm not i'm not, I'm not gonna go up here and say like you know i don't want to move out trust me i love the independence i love um I, I really want to become more independent and stuff so it'll be really fun but what i can't like not think about is you know how i'm gonna manage and you know sort everything out like here what there is, is is like comfort level like when i'm living so it's a bit more comfortable and and that applies to everyone really so you know where you live where you've been brought up where you're born and everything you know everything around you the your the whole environment around you is safe for you and it's comfortable and you know you know everything and that has its own comfort level but when you move out of your city go to a different place to study and stuff like my friends have they've gone to some of them gone to birmingham some of them gone to i think one of my friends has gone to i don't know forgot I keep forgetting the name uh stuff uh, was it stratford upon a no that's no that's where shakespeare is uh i don't know anyways he, he's gone to a place he's gone to staffordshire that's it he's gone to staffordshire so um yeah they've gone to four play four four places and uh, i was talking about this to one of my friends who actually on the day before he was actually leaving to uni he said to me that um, I, I actually asked him as like you know how are you feeling so he was like to me i'm scared to shit so so yeah, I really think it's not just, it doesn't affect just me. I think it affects everyone really. And it's the reason, I, I think the reason why people don't talk about it is because it kind of seems really trivial because it's something that everyone does. So, you know, you shouldn't really be bothered with it really. But yeah, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with being bothered with the whole fact. I mean, of course it is. You know, you lived with your parents uh, for 
God knows how many, 18 or 19, how many years, and then you have to move out, you do everything by yourself, become independent, of course that's daunting as hell. I mean, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I certainly find that crazy daunting. So, um, obviously not to the point where I'm paralyzed or anything. No, I, I like to think of it this way, that the thing is, it's going to be scary until I do it. Like, no matter how much I keep telling myself, oh, I know you got this, you, you, you'll, you'll smash it. You know, no, no matter how much research or whatever I do, like about the places nearby and like how, how I can make myself a bit more comfortable there, it's not going to, nothing is going to take my anxiety away that, uh, of, other than the fact that I would actually go there and like tackle it head on. And I've kind of found this with everything in my life. Like, whenever I have anything coming up, like for example, I had a meeting today morning and you know this may sound like really crazy but i was thinking about the meeting obviously there's no anxiety involved but then um, okay maybe i'm taking the word anxiety out of context here but there's always something that's going on in the back of my mind like for example as i said today i had a meeting in the morning and i was thinking about it pretty much throughout yesterday night and throughout today morning i was like just just thinking about how it's gonna go and like you know what the proceeds are and how we're gonna talk about it and everything Whatever there was I just kept thinking about it. Just couldn't get it out of my head and I have a habit of doing this And I think loads of people do have the habit of saying thing and that constant thinking I think for some particular topics cause anxiety in my opinion. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but That's, that's what I think so Yeah, what I like to keep what I like to say to myself. I think I came across this really good quote I was watching one of my like idols his videos Called he's called Thanaja. He's um, flying beast on YouTube. You can go check out. Leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description down below. Um, on one of his videos, he mentions that you know how it's really important to go by the phrase "cross the bridge" when it comes. So I think it's human tendency to always think, "How am I going to do this in the future?" Instead of just be like, "Screw it," when it comes, I'll do it then. So I think that's a really good uh, mentality to adopt, in my opinion. Because what that allows you to do is just not totally engross yourself with the whole uh, the whole idea of God, how am I going to do this? And, and then I, th I think what that leads on to is you thinking you're incapable of doing it, which you're not, and nobody's incapable of doing anything really. Because once you get there, you just you just figure stuff out. You 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 just figure figure everything out for yourself. It just happens. Trust me. So at least that's what I've found in my life so far. I don't know how it's going to go when I actually move. If <laughs> all this goes to watch and then someone comes with me they're like Anne, look you said this and yeah I know but that's not the point my point is that if you are one of these people who are feeling this anxiety of fear no what did I say anxiety of change what I want to say is you're not the only one there's loads of people around you that feel the same thing they may not talk about it but I'm pretty sure they feel the same thing I th more or less they do so yeah it's pretty common, I think, and uh, there's nothing wrong with feeling it because it's really, in my opinion, it's really, 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 really normal, really normal because you live, you, like you do something for so many years and suddenly someone tells you to change, of course it's going to be daunting, you know, you don't, you don't, know, how, you don't know how it's going to work, so yeah, so I just want to talk about that really because that's, what, that's what's been going on in my, uh, well, not, not well, that's not the majority of things that's going on in my life, but that's kind of been in the back of my head for the last couple of months since the whole moving thing and everything that's come about. So, yeah, apart from that, really, I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty short. That's what I wanted to... The thing is, that's how I want to keep this series. I want to keep it short, concise, fun, and personal, obviously, one-to-one, -one, personal, and hopefully, hopefully, you get some knowledge I would actually no I wouldn't say knowledge hopefully you find some relief or some uh, I don't know relief or or help from it I don't know anything if you if in any way it helps you to move on with your life and help you in your life I'll be more than happy to keep making these videos that's the whole point with that said thank you for watching and as always I'll catch you in the next one until then adios